Hello and welcome to Vlogtober day 13. It's Friday the 13th. I got my laundry going in the background and I figured I would answer some of your questions and still do a laundry day Q&A even though I didn't call for questions because I didn't answer all of my questions last week. And if it look like, looks like I'm hunching down, I am because if I were to sit all the way straight, like my eyeballs are kind of not in a frame. So I want to address one question I've gotten a lot, which is how are you doing since taking time off? And I'm doing really, really well. I'm loving the time away. Um, I have been vlogging every day. You guys will have seen those vlogs or maybe I'm gonna condense it into one vlog from Monday to Thursday, but I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I, I literally haven't edited anything. So I know I had plans yesterday to edit and I just, was like, you know what? I have other things that I really want to do right now. So I did those instead because again, have allowed time allowed myself to have a little time off. So this weekend you guys are gonna see like a flurry of videos from me, but um, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And um, I have been able to share a lot more, especially on Instagram. I've been doing a little bit on Facebook, but mostly Instagram. If you guys wanna follow me, um, the links are always below. So anyway, let's get into the Laundry Day q and I'm gonna pull up the last Laundry Day Q&A video because I think there was a couple of questions that people had asked, so. I'll go into that. I'll do some YouTube, I'll do some Instagram, and I think I have some on Facebook still too. So I'll just do a little bit of everything and uh, we'll go from there. Someone asked, what editing software do you use and what would you suggest? suggest for a newbie. Um, I suggest using whatever comes with your computer. I have a Mac, iMovie came with it, I use that, I love it, it works really well. Um, I did have a PC before and used whatever their video editing program was. I can't remember what it was. It was so long ago, but um, I used that and that was great too. So I don't recommend ever like really investing in any video editing software or like, you know, a program if you don't need to. So just use whatever comes with your computer first and um, no reason to invest in something that is probably already on your laptop or desktop. Someone says, how did you pick Doyle's name? Um, I think I've talked about this several times, but he is named after Doyle Brunson, the famous poker player. All right, so the last YouTube question I'm going to answer, um, there's actually a couple of questions from this uh, individual. Doyle, get out of there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, get out, 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 out. I don't know what he is doing, but he's eating something off of the floor, which is gross. Um, okay, so there are a bunch of questions from this one person. Are there any YouTubers that you used to watch but don't anymore and why? Um, the only person that comes to mind just because she isn't posting as regularly is um, Christina Brawley. I love her like regular videos but she's been posting um, some vlogs recently. She was formerly Pretty Shiny Sparkly on YouTube, and um, I love her content. Um, I just haven't seen any like regular, like her regular video content that I um, am gravitating towards. She does a lot of like luxury handbags and makeup and you know thing, things like that. But um, she hasn't been posting as consistently. I know she's back in Texas. She was in North Carolina. Well, I guess she was in Texas, then moved to North Carolina, then is back in Texas and is pregnant. And um, she's also an anesthesiologist. So she's like a busy, busy gal. I just haven't seen a ton of videos pop up from her, so probably her. Um, that's kind of the only person that I can think of. But honestly, I. I subscribe to a lot of YouTube channels that I don't consistently watch every single video just because I have limited time and I want to watch what I'm interested in. So like if I'm watching a specific channel for something and say they do like makeup, fashion, and hair and I really only want to see the fashion and nothing else, I'll only click on the fashion videos. So um, yeah, I guess that's probably the only one I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's a bunch, but I don't know. And um, this individual also writes, do you have any hobbies outside of stickers, pens, and planners? She says, I totally have a stationary addiction. I would love to see everyone else's stuff. Um, okay, so anyway, yeah, probably. Um, see that little green plant thing? That's not actually a plant, by the way. It's fake because 
I don't like living plants. But I just got that today at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I have like a home decor addiction. I love going out and finding stuff and not spending a ton of money. Like I got every, all of that was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Um, I love like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, any place that has a little bit better of a deal. Like I get sick of things really fast. So if in like two or three years I get sick of that thing, it can just go away and then I don't have to feel bad about it because I used it and I enjoyed it and I loved it while I had it, but maybe it's time to pass it on to another home. So um, that's kind of how I feel about home decor stuff. So um, I really like home decor. I think that's probably an addiction. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to Instagram and I am going to pull up the last image that I, oh gosh, I'm on my dog's Instagram. Hold on. I'm gonna pull up the last image that was asking for questions. All right, so I've got a great question. What is your next big purchase outside the couch? So you guys know that I got my sofa actually yesterday and um, my next big purchase is probably, fingers crossed, if no appliances break, um, doing some electrical upgrades in this home. So that's my next big purchase um, it may include a couple of new fixtures it may not I'm gonna have um, my electrician friend to come over here and talk about what I would like to do and then start ordering things or maybe going to the store together and buying a bunch of stuff but there are a few different things that I want to get plus I want to talk to him about some things that I want to do uh, where there's not electrical currently to see if we can, you know, pull electrical from another area and all that kind of stuff. Hi, Doyle. Hi. 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 Oh my goodness. This dog. So that's my next big purchase, but I will uh, let you guys know when that happens. Uh, another question is, what baby step are you on? I'm currently on four and six, but to be honest, I'm not doing either right now. Um, baby step four is 15% of your income going into retirement. I don't have that happening right now. It will be happening come December 1. And then um, I you know, pay off your mortgage early, which I haven't been making extra payments at all to, um, just because I'm trying to get settled in and settled into the new job. But as of the beginning of next year, 2018, um, I have plans on, um, you know, making extra payments or paying more on my mortgage every month. <laughs> Someone asked, have you ever tried or thought about dating? Well, I have dated several people in the past, so yeah, I guess I've tried it and I've thought about it. And she says, is there any anyone you've met that you may be interested in? Uh, currently, no. Um, I'm not that into that. I don't know how to answer that question. I would need to meet somebody that is um, worth my time. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I, for as boring as I seem, I'm really busy a lot. So I just need to find somebody that like sparks my interest enough to make the time for, I guess. And I haven't met that individual, so no, I don't currently have anybody in my life that uh, I'm interested in. And the last Instagram question I'm gonna answer is, what is your favorite scary movie? Um, I wouldn't say it's scary because it's actually my favorite movie of all time, which is Silence of the Lambs. It is amazing and I love it. Um, I'm not into like the scary, like jumpy movies, like bleh, movies. Um, I am more into like the psychological thriller, like kind of movies make your brain work a little bit more. So now let's go over to the Facebook, the book of faces as I like to call it sometimes. And um, let's see, I think there was a couple of other unanswered questions on this social media outlet. Let's find it. Gosh, I post a lot of things. Let's see here. So the first question on Facebook is gonna be, what do you put on your monthly planner spread? Well, I have my monthly planner spreads here and I will show you exactly what I put on there. It's really, freaking boring you guys you want to see what april of 2017 looked like this is it absolutely nothing nothing exciting um i put in birthdays that's it 
and I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna set up my 2018 to be completely honest I just don't I just don't utilize it in the way that it probably should be utilized all right and the last question I'm gonna answer today um, is this is kind of a long question but it says kind of a serious question I saw your post where you said your Instagram account was hacked and a while back I saw the video where you cut up all your credit cards she says congratulations on that so I was just wondering if you signed up for the identity theft protection program uh, Dave Ramsey recommends and if you think it's a good value um, honestly I know nothing about that uh, I do listen to his podcast. Um, I know you can buy it through Xander Insurance, I think. You know, to be honest, I've never looked into it. I don't know what the price is. I don't have identity theft protection. Maybe I should get it. I don't know. But honestly, identity theft protection would not help me with social media. They, they would help with like banking issues and things like that. So... Yeah, um, and by the way, my account was hacked again after that too, which I didn't post about because I got my account recovered very, very quickly, like within an hour or two. But um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It's like people stop being stupid. Like leave other people's accounts alone. Like I don't under, I don't understand why they care because then they got in there and they did nothing. They didn't do anything. So I'm like, I have no idea. People are just dumb sometimes. But yeah, I think that is going to be it today for the Q&A. If you guys have any more questions for next week, feel free to put them down below and I will get to as many of you guys as I can next week. And you guys did see Doyle. He was over here earlier, but um, we're not gonna do a, a big Doyle challenge today because yesterday with the sofa, it was like all Doyle challenge the entire vlog because he was just so excited about the dang sofa <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna finally make some dinner because it is super late it is 7 14 it's hard to see but it's 7 14 p.m and um i'm really hungry and there's no light in here at all which is why there's like this weird overhead light and my face looks really funky but you know you do what you gotta do but i am in a jet thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys